Morning, Donnie Walker here. Monday morning. Yeah, it feels like a Monday. Half the crew's missing today. I had a hard time getting out of bed and coming myself today. Yesterday we did a uh, venture park tour. We did zip lining and rope climbing and all these weird things at this wildlife adventure park where the bungee zone is in Nanaimo here. And afterwards we went paintballing for my first time. Had a blast, shot a few people, got shot a few times. So I'm all bruised up and welted and got shot in the neck a couple times. And yeah, it's a bit of hard work, man. It was a hard day for us, this old fella. My brother Johnny ended up doing the full course of the wild play. He did awesome. And uh, it was a good time. We all had, had a lot of fun. He had two different teams. And we, you know, fought each other out in the bush here at Tom's Paintball Emporium, which is out by Nanama River Road. If you ever come to Vancouver Island here, check out Tom's Paintball awesome so today i got a 500 problem this this problem has already happened to my customer tomahawk tree service where it's idling fast you know not all the time it just starts idling fast so i didn't do a thing to it till i till i got it here uh or till he brought it here so i tried it right away sure enough that chain spinning so what i figured out is right here you know you got no throttle cable or anything but you got a throttle rod with your with your throttle valve here. This is an injected saw, remember. So this thing, as I started it up, it's on a fast idle. I just pushed it with a screwdriver, the butterfly here. So it would close and right away it idled down perfectly. I knew there was no air leak or anything because I, I air and vacuum checked this thing uh, about a month ago when it was here with the similar problems. So this has been happening on and off, which is kind of weird. So what I did is took this throttle plate off and checked you know obviously for dirt around it definitely was some you know but that wasn't making it to it so right here the butterfly screw i just loosened it and i smacked it make this click back and forth a few times to center the butterfly properly then tighten the screw back up and lubed each end with some move it or whatever you got some lubrication oil and now it's snapping back perfectly so let's put it back on and, and see how it works. See if it idles down perfect right away. Hope everyone had a good weekend. That was a lot of fun doing that adventure park and, and paintball. But it was definitely a workout. Doing, doing both of those things in one day is not really highly recommended for anyone over 50. But I made it. Sam didn't make it. He's at home today. But he fell down right away, too, in the paintball and cut his leg. So that wasn't very nice. So things things happen, eh? Well, there's a lot of kids there had a good time, you know. Uh, it's more of a young young person's thing. But still a lot of fun, though, be able to shoot people and get away with it, eh? All right, let's try it out. Give this a couple pumps. Or purge bulb. Fresh release in. See how it goes. Okay, that was definitely the problem, eh? So yeah, check out your link linkages, check out that. You know, maybe that screw was just a tad loose in the factory. I did put Loctite on it as well when I took it out. I didn't just tighten it, I took it out and put a tad, little drop of red Loctite on it and put it back together. So hopefully this doesn't happen again. If it does, you guys know what to look for. If your saw is idling fast in a 500i and it doesn't change with doing the reset, um, should be good to go. Keep your saw in the wood, stick in the ass, rub in the road, check out the walkersawshop.com online store and fix it yourself if you can. If not, send me a question or give me a call. Have a good day. Bye.